I'm Amy. And we both got short hair. Hey, yeah, you got <laughs> your cut today too, huh? Well, not today, on Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah. I didn't notice it last night. Sorry, oh, friend. Okay. I missed it. I was like yeah. so stressed last night when I got here. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm okay today. Good. I had mine to cut today, so. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yep. It's our, our, summer. our summer look. No, nothing hanging there. Yeah. You know, yep. I don't, well, I, you know, I don't usually get hot if my hair's long. Mm -hmm. I don't. Um, yeah. Um, yep. So, hey, it is what it is. Yeah. So, have you been knitting much? Well, I subbed all week this week, oh, so. so you were working. Yeah, but I did, I did knit. Mm-hmm. Um, so last week, I don't know, or last time we podcasted, I told you I started this. No, you didn't show the podcasters. You just showed me. <gasps> oh. So this is new for them. This is new. I thought I showed the podcasters. No, we were looking at my Northeasterly, and that sparked the idea oh. for yours. Okay. Well, anyway, so I, um, this is from, ooh, Bakery Bears. Bakery Bears, Kay Jones. Yeah. So I wanted to use up leftovers. And I was inspired by the stripes on yours, but I didn't want to do the same thing. Because just, you know, I don't want to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so I said, I am going to do squares like this. I, I have a friend on Ravelry, actually, that does these squares. And mm -hmm. she's the one that told me. So this was the first one. And these are all just different green leftovers um, from, uh, you name it, anything. There's some leading men in here, some cascade, mm -hmm. whatever I had in the, and, and I took all my leftovers. And I sorted them by generally color. Did you make sure they were all superwashed too? Yes. Okay, because yeah, I kind of try to do that. If yes. I remember some of those little balls, you just don't know. Well, like yeah, like I, I have no remember. clue what this one is. Okay. Mm, can't figure it out. What I probably should do is just go through my projects and find where I use that dark green. I think it's leading men. Okay. Um, I know this is Cascade. I know this is Cascade. I, this is Lolo did it. This is leading men. This is Queen City, I think. And this one is probably Leading Men. So this is the only one I don't know. So, okay, well, like like that made any sense. I know what this, this is a self-striping sock yarn. Mm -hmm. um, uh, biscotti. Okay. Um, so that this was the first square. And then okay. what was interesting about this is when in the pattern, she does not have you slip the first stitch. Mm -hmm. And that's what you and I were talking about. Yeah. I am slipping the first stitch. Yep. And I did too. here is, okay, so here's what the seam looks like without slipping it. And then if you look here, this is what the seam looks like with slipping it. Clearly, you get a nicer edge. So mm -hmm. I didn't do that with all of them because this, this one was the first one I did. So then I got the greens done. And now I did a turquoise one. Nice. And yeah, this one, I'm not cutting my ends yet. I want to block it with before I cut ends. This one, I cut them. Uh -huh. And I'm, or most of them at any rate. And uh -huh. I, this one, but on this one, I did not cut any. I'm going to okay. block it first. So this is the turquoise one. And yeah, I mean, when, other than the fact that there's ends all over the place, the wrong side, if you will, looks by far better all the way around with the picking mm -hmm. up this, slipping the first it's stitch. It's not so obviously a back. Exactly. Right. You know, and I mean, okay, it's going to be put together and made a blanket out of, and mm -hmm. who cares, I guess, what the back looks like, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But um, I do. I do. Scarfs too. I don't like, like scarfs and shawls with really ugly backs. That's why I don't do stranded color work in a scarf. Or, oh, I agree. Uh, shawl. If I want stranded color work in a scarf, I make it in a tube. Me too. I would agree with you on that. Yep. And, and your stranded color work is a lot easier when it's a tube because it's um, uh, in the round and it's mm -hmm. all knitting as right. opposed to having some uh, pearls in there. Right. So, yeah, I agree with you on that. Yep. So, since our last podcast, I've got two of my quilt blocks done. Cool. So, and now the next one, because I want, you know, this one is kind of in that green family, mm -hmm. even in like this one is, I, the next one I'm doing is red. Okay. 
So just because, and I'm just, I'm doing them. I, I took all my leftovers and sorted them by mm -hmm. their main color, if you will. Okay. And I'm just doing a red block, a blue block, you know, and they're all just, they're mm -hmm. all in Ziploc bags. Reds, okay. blues, greens, browns, oranges, yellows, that sort of thing. Uh -huh. And we'll see from there. How many grams in each block? Four. And how many stitches did you do cast on to start? 45. Okay. Yeah, I pick up or cast on. You start with 45. Okay. All right. And then I am using a size one. Oh, you're going pretty tight. Yeah. Well, okay. you know what? I like the gauge of this. Yeah. It's a little denser. Right. You know, and I'm looking at this one. I don't know what this one is. I think it's Wilmy's. Mm. Which is also probably superwash. If it's yeah. blend. Oh, wait. Is pure superwash? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember. I know this is leading men. This is leading men. This mm -hmm. might be yours. I don't remember doing that one. Nope. Then it's Laurel's. Okay. Then this is Cascade. This is Queen City. This is Cascade. This is Leading Men. This one was from a gnome kit. I think it's marionated yarns or something mm. like that. So, yeah. So that's what I've been working on. And I, what I've been, see the other thing, since I retired, you know, your morning knitting with your coffee? Mm-hmm. Well, my morning was getting to be too much morning because I'd have coffee and then I'd get up and get a second cup. And next thing you know, I got it. I started knitting at eight in the morning ish and it's 1030 and I'm still oh, sitting there, Yeah, you know, and oh, I'm not getting a heck of a lot uh -huh. done. See, I have a limit. Nine, ten. I got to be done. Well, yeah, especially on days you got to open the shop. Mm -hmm. I get that. Yep. But. And not so much for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So my morning knitting is one block. Okay. When, you know, one square on here. Okay. So that's what I do. Sure. And then when I'm done with that, I put my knitting away okay. and I get my butt busy and do something. Yeah. You know, now whether that get my butt busy and do something means uh, sewing <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Right. But it, I mean, the point is, is that I am going to put my needles down now. Mm -hmm. And so that I can get something done. Because it was yeah. bad. Yeah. You know? And, sure. well, like the summer, I'll have Cora around in the, during the morning before I take her to Boys and Girls Club. And so if I would get up and do my block, like, at 730, which is when I'm awake anyways, mm -hmm. well, then 830, I'm, I mean, this one block or one, one square within the block is maybe 45 minutes. Okay. You know, so it's mm -hmm. just enough for, uh, long enough for me to have my cup of coffee and then get my button gear. Okay. My morning is English paper piecing again. Okay. And I'm back into that after all the other rush projects I did. It's because that's the most relaxing for me. Okay. I like that the best. Well, you so. love the hand sewing part. Yeah. And I have a little tray. It's a little wooden tray. It just, you know, it can sit on the table. It has everything in. So, oh boy. yeah, it's real nice. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like this. I keep this in a basket. My, uh -huh. uh, you know, all my yarns rolling around in there. And mm -hmm. as I, as I do a, 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 a section, well, then that ball comes out and then it mm -hmm. gets put away, you know? And, yeah. and then I will, obviously any ball that is greater than four grams, I, um, re, well, I'll save it, sure. and, you know, cause I, I enjoy knitting these. Okay. This sounds crazy. But, mm -hmm. I mean, it's so repetitive, so boring. I mean, mm -hmm. but if you're going to do it for, you know, 40 minutes, 45 minutes or so, okay, you can get through just about anything mm -hmm. then. When I was doing one of these, I, um, after I made my block, if I didn't have enough left, then I put I wound a magic knot ball. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Mine were a little smaller. Though. I think I used a size 3 needle, so they weren't actually smaller. But I think I only cast on 30. Okay. And well, mine took like 2.3 grams or something like that. Okay. Yeah, well, this so, is just, it's yeah. working out nice. And, you know, so when I, I like when you, way. when yeah. you know, there'll be a border between them. Yep. You know, and so you figure, you're looking at your width. If I do three by four, it's wide enough. 
it's yeah. chair width, you know? Yep, it's a nice lap blanket. Yeah, so we shall see. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a hurry. It's not intended for anyone. And yeah, we'll just go with it. Yep. Enjoy so the process. That's one thing I'm working on. Okay. And then I finished this today. Okay. Ends are, not, are woven in, but it's not blocked. This is a sample. Okay. Okay. So the pattern is a new pattern coming out. Ca confection. Confectionary. When I get, when, when I, I'll, I'll put in the show notes what the correct name of it is. It's Confection or Confectionary by Lisa Ross. It'll be okay. out, I think, the 15th. And I, it's a sample that I have to take to ZK. Oh, okay. Because this is for Un Besito Fibers. Uh-huh. And she want, she needed a sample knit for ZK. Oh, because okay. she, she has these really cute. It comes in a little, a, a square little box, like a bakery donut, like uh -huh. a donut box. Yeah. With a little window. And in there, there's 12, 10 gram balls. Okay. And this little box, um, is what I use to make this. It's 12 colors. And is that she, all? It looks like it's more than 12. Nope. It's 12. So, okay. 12 little balls. Because uh -huh. if you, here's, this is the first color, uh -huh. and here's the purple. There. Okay, that's so the that's, range. That's okay. the range of color. Very nice. So, yeah, I mean, there's all my ends. Mm -hmm. I did, I used Weave and Steven. Okay. Because, and so I think that's going to look just fine when I snip them. Mm -hmm. But I won't snip until after I block. Okay. But, yeah, so... She said she's going to pay me in yarn. We'll see. Okay. I don't know what I'm getting. Hmm. But. All right. Yeah. So I knit that over the last two weeks. Okay. It started out, you know, the funny thing about it is, I mean, it's pretty, ba pretty boring knitting. Uh -huh. You alternate between these chevrons that are either garter or stockinette. It's, you know, uh -huh. and then, but then getting, getting through the box of colors the first time mm -hmm. was pretty boring. Then the second time you go through the box of colors, you switch. Oh, I see that. Your garter here. Yeah. Ah, okay. So that made it a little bit more engaging. Yeah. And then you repeat that two, the first two sections. So you basically are doing, going through each of the sections of color or mm -hmm. the, the range of color. You're going through it four times. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I like oh, it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I really do like it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I, I like it enough to knit another one for me, but... I'd almost want to knit it in DK or worsted, though, if it were for me, because this is Wisconsin after all. You're right. Yeah. But... And that would still be gorgeous. Yeah, it would. So, and that's what I've been working on. Cool. That's why well, I finished. What I've been working on is a lot of quilting. Because I really? went on Saturday for um, an anniversary party, yep. 50th, and I'm getting old. If I went to a friend's anniversary party and it was their 50th. You're old. I'm old. Yeah. I'm officially made old. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. I'm I'm not old yet because we just had 40. Okay. So I'm not old yet. Okay. Well, so I made them a quilt. Well, and that's really and nice. um, I'll put a picture right here. <laughs> Here it is, um, of the quilt, because I gave it away, of course, already, and it was a log cab, and a lot like the one I made for my dad. Okay. Um, except for this one, I only made it 90 by 90. I didn't, I didn't know what size bed they have. They're not that good for us. <laughs> <laughs> but I made it... I'll just let you know, we have a king. <laughs> oh, I made it 90 by 90. I figured even if it was a queen, it would fit. It would just not go over very far. And so, um, yeah, I got that done. And then I got um, my granddaughter's quilt done for graduation. Yeah. All the, everything put together, the top put together. I got it onto my frame and I went to start quilting it and I broke my needle. And I didn't have ah. any needles at home. I was like, what the heck? So then I come in here and look, that peg is empty, no needles. So I ordered needles. I had, yeah. 
I had a few needles for myself back in this. So Are those like machine here. needles or, or hand sewing needles? Machine needles for the sewing machine. Hmm. Huh. So well, I had a couple here so I could take some home um, and I can get going again tomorrow. Funny. But yeah, yeah, I broke my needle and... Um, I just can't imagine you running out of needles. Yeah, well, they got to end sometime. I can't have infinite needles. Well, yeah, and they do wear out. Yeah. They do you get dull. Yeah. Well, this one, I broke it when I hit a, a stick pin. You well, know, okay, right I've done that. the very top. You have I pins have, in. I have stick pins along there to keep it, you know, all three layers together at the very top. Mm -hmm. And while I was starting to, I just started, obviously, because I was right there. I just started and boom, I break the needle. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, so that one, after I get it off the frame, I'll show a picture next time of that yeah. one. Yeah. So, um, and then we've been doing the uh, sock knit along here. I got mine. You got yours? I yep. got mine. This is my Get Shorty sock. Now, this one was kind of an eye-opener for all of us, because look how big it looks, you know, through here. Yeah. It looks really huge, but I'm guessing no that's... No gusset. No, well, it does have a gusset. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing that's because usually my socks are stretched a lot right here. Okay. When I have mine, because I have a very high arch. Okay. So I'm thinking that's going to make it so it's not stretched out anywhere. Because actually, if you look at it here, yeah. just that much, that's normal width. It's just this area right here that's real wide. So I'm, I'm optimistic. I'll finish it, try it on, and I'll report back. But that's how far I am on my Get Shorty sock. How far are you on your summer sock? My summer sock is not Get Shorty. It's called Sporty Shorty Socks. Okay. And it has a heel flap, which is done. Okay. See, there's my flap. You know, okay. it's a knit one, slip one kind of thing. Uh -huh. There, it's actually on the pearl side, you do the slipping. And then here's, so I've turned the heel, and it does okay. have a gusset. Uh-huh. So... I am working my the way. The heel turn is kind of a rounded one, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then what's interesting is you first, you do your first gusset decreases. It's not really on the gusset. It's on the heel. So you get your heel rounded in. Oh. So I'm going to decrease oh. heel stitches. Oh, I saw somebody was right on the first page of your Ravelry. Uh huh. With, it's called a comfort heel. Is that this yeah? One? I think this is what it's called. Yeah, and then the decreases are on the bottom of the foot. Yeah, it's a double oh, gusset uh. heel. It's adapted. This is adapted from the double gusset heel by Christy Payne. Okay. And her pattern basic sock with a double gusset is free and available on Ravelry. Can I see the picture? Oh yeah, sure. Pattern picture. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I saw in Ravelry, too. Okay. There you go. So. So, anyways, I'm on the first set of gusset decreases. Mm-hmm. And then, then it changes. And then I think you, so you got the decrease going here to get your heel narrower. And then mm -hmm. this part you'll have to decrease later. That's oh, the way I read it. Okay. And then the other thing is that I have done other, you know, top down socks with a gusset, you know, and uh -huh. a heel turn, you know, slip stitch back thing, whatever. Mm -hmm. And usually you slip this first stitch so that that's where your pickup is. Mm -hmm. No, you don't on these. Okay. You so do you're picking up on a garter bump. Yeah, but you just take your needle and slip it. Okay, so if your your working yarn is in your right hand, you take your left needle uh -huh. and slip it through those pearl bumps so that you then knit them. Oh, So okay. you take your left needle and go through the bumps. Oh, okay. It was the most fascinating thing. And I'm telling you, as far as pickup is concerned, Boy, that was easy. Oh, I'm going to try that next time. Yeah, I really, I, I mean, it was an interest. I like the neat look here. Mm -hmm. 
And I gotta show you, it's, it's got a weird kind of, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, um, Hi Hermione's has that where you got two garter bumps on the edge. Yeah. Well, hers is on an eye of partridge, but the same thing, two garter bumps on the edge. Yeah. So I'm, I just think these turned out that it's up is, yeah. pretty slick. All right. So, yeah, cool. I mean, I have never had an easier time picking up stitches. Mm -hmm. And see, the thing about it is, is that, look at here on the top. Mm -hmm. No gap. Look at down here. No gap. Good. You know all those 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 two points where you can get a hole mm -hmm. on a on a sock, and you know. Mm -hmm. But there is no hole, no and gap at all. This is, was kind of a cheap pattern too, wasn't it? Oh, I don't remember. A couple of dollars. Yeah. Well, yeah. It wasn't so yeah, it wasn't I don't expensive. Think it was expensive. So at any rate, so now I'm working on it, um, slowly but surely. I'd like okay. to be able to get done with the gusset by the weekend, but we'll see. Okay. Because I have to swatch for something else, so I don't know. Okay. But I, I like my color. This uh -huh. is leading men. Yeah. I just think it's pretty yeah. with the gray and the... The gray and the turquoise. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing about this, yeah. okay, I personally, either I did something wrong, but there's short rows in here. Oh, okay. To and you bring that heel. Yeah, and it's just little. in this one spot. And the problem with it is, is that I would prefer instead of the short rows stacking on top of each other, I would prefer them create like this uh -huh. creates a building, a rectangle. Uh -huh. I would prefer it create an arch. So yeah. well, you can do that next time. I, yeah, if I if well, I'm not going to do it on the second sock. Right. No, but, you want um, I'll do them the same way. But if I was going to do this pattern again, which if this heel fits nice when I'm done with it, mm -hmm. I will do this pattern again. Okay. Because um, they're nice and short, and that's what I wanted. Oh, and the other mm -hmm. thing is it had a tubular cast on. Oh, okay. So, and I like that. Uh-huh. Did you do it on those circular needles or on a nope. straight needle? straight. Okay. A, a little bit bigger, too, because I didn't uh -huh. have a straight... That was long enough um, so that they would all fit on the needle. You know, if I would have just taken mm -hmm. like one of a double point, my my size zero double points, you know, are the short ones. Oh, okay. And then to get that many stitches on one, you ain't going to fit. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I found, uh, um, I used the needle I'm using for my squares because mm. it's an old, old, old um, size one and it's like mm -hmm. yay long. But it's got an end on it. Okay. So, um, yeah, I went down. It was kind of funny. I went down to my box of ancient needles, okay. um, my sticks. And sure enough, mm -hmm. I had uh, a one, a one and a half in there. Mm -hmm. um, two, and then a set of size one double points. Okay. So I didn't, because I have zeros. And I have the one and a half in double points mm -hmm. because that's what I usually use for gnomes. Okay. But I don't have just a straight one. Mm. So now I found them. They're older than dirt. Mm -hmm. These probably were my mother-in-law's. Okay. Because um, I do know she gave me all of her needles at one point in time. And I don't think I ever really used double points that small mm. or straight ones that small. I can't think of anything mm -hmm. I made way back when that I would have used them. Okay. But they, so they had to have been from my mother-in-law. Okay. So yeah, so I did, I liked the tubular cast on too. Good. So. so there's still time. You can all join our knit along. You can go on Ravelry and put uh, some pictures. Um, you can come in Thursdays, three to four. Uh, any, everybody can join just any summer sock. You know, I, it goes it's all my the way goal. till the end of August. Yeah, it's it's my goal to get three pairs of socks done. Oh, okay. This summer. Okay. I don't know if I'll make it or not, but I can always dream big, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that means, so these are the, would be the June ones. And I think yeah. once I get past this heel and the gusset, uh -huh. then it's just the foot. Yeah. Foots go quick and the toes no brainer, so. Right. So, yeah. So. That's what I'm doing, my sporty cool. shorty. Cool. So, yours is get shorty. I'll have to put them both yeah. in the notes. Yeah. Now, I got my ZK bag. I see that. And this made me think, and I remember that we had, this was our second ZK bag we got, and this is 2019. 
So this is going to be our fourth. Okay. Okay. Because 2018, yeah. 19, no, no, no 20. 20, 21, and now 22. So our fourth ZK we're going to. And this is an old project, but I decided to get it out and I want to work on it and maybe even get it done to wear there. Maybe not have it done before we go there, but I can always block it in the room. I've done that before. She has. <laughs> I live to tell about it. <laughs> this is I was gonna the need that. chili pepper tunic. I love this pattern and it's, I just keep sitting there. Maybe it's this yarn. Cause if you can see, I'm full of this little dust of silk noils all over me. Cause this yarn it fuzzes. is Roslyn from Cascade and it loses all the little silk nibs or nubs or whatever you want to call them. But this is the chili pepper tunic. I just love that. I think I'm going to make mine short sleeve though. You know that oh, lacy be cute short sleeve. Yeah. Don't don't you think just looking at it short mm -hmm. sleeve would be the way to go? I'm on row 49 of 153 row chart. So I'm just almost a third of the way. And it keeps getting narrower cuz it's a nice. tunic. Yeah. And uh and then if I do short sleeves, then it's a round yoke, you join it all at the underarms. Okay. And then after you join it all, I'm sure it'll go real quick. So it's knitting a DK. Why did I think it was? Well, this yarn is really only a sport, but, but it's knitting up nice. I'm getting five stitches to the inch. Okay. So that's, this is supposed to be 22. So mine's turning out a little bit bigger. 22 for a DK, though, is a pretty tight gauge. Yeah, so. I'm I'm liking it. This is oh I didn't show what I did. Yeah. Did I? Okay. Um, this is my lace panel. I like that. Yeah, and it's got a garter bottom. It it's tending to roll right now, but I think that'll straighten out with blocking. So like I said, I'm almost a third of the way in the height before we join at the underarm. So. Was, I have that in my cute net too. This is my experiment. Not wild about it, but I wanted to try the Chai Goo metal needles, mm -hmm. with, but with the cord from the bamboo, which are spins. Okay. I, I don't think the spin is necessary for this kind of a project. Well, it's pretty big, yeah. Yeah, so, and I, am, and I don't like that thin of a cord. Okay. That cord is really thin. Yeah, it it is. So, I might even swap it out for the red lace. I might be happy. Well, those are nice cords. Yeah. And I think having nice. a heavier cord will work better with a heavier yarn. Yeah. So, that's where I am. We'll see. Okay, um, it'll be interesting if you get that finished. Yeah, it will. And obviously, it's going to need a bigger bag. Cause I gotta, Pretty soon. Yeah. I had started that Roselle from Patty Lyons. Yeah. And I hated it, so I tore it all apart. And this is how much I have left of, of the, the first tore one? out part. Yeah. And so then I'll have to add, you know, three more skeins of full skeins. Maybe I should knit a shirt. We've done this before, you know. We did that with you. Yeah. Yeah. So we matched. Yeah, we did that. But it was like, oh, we need a new sweater to wear to ZK. Yeah. We, and, and I remember I just casting decided on. yesterday that this was going to be mine. <laughs> Shoot, now I got it. Ah, oh, you threw the gauntlet down, man. Yeah, can we <laughs> Sorry, we banged the table. That... I hope that wasn't loud. <laughs> so, yeah, we got to knit a sweater. Okay, because I got that Marmel at home, and I know what it wants to be. Oh, okay. I think I know what it wants to be. Okay. Did you swatch yet? Yeah. All right. You I have my it. swatch done. That's almost two weeks. Well, I mean, if you don't want to wear it till Saturday, then it is two weeks. Oh, but I will have my block before we go. Okay. I was going to do some palette cleansers, you know? Uh-huh. Um, but I could just as easily take the palette cleansers to ZK. Yeah. And I have to. I was going to try to get the sleeves done on my um, weekender. Because okay. it's so cold in there all the time. Okay. I figured that weekender would be perfect. Well, I'll take my Magellan show again. 
Yeah, that's oh, a good one. Oh, and then the recalibrates we got to take because we got the patterns there last year. Oh, that's right. We did. So we have to take those to wear. I don't know if mine fits. Oh, mine was really big because it's all garter. As you wear it, it kind of stretches out. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I'd have to try it on and see how it fits. Yeah. But yeah, so, I think I do. I'm going to do that. I am going to go home and cast on my um, that Marmel, and okay. I know what t-shirt it's going to be. Um, All right. Yeah. Okay. You heard okay. it here, folks. I probably will show it to you before. I'm going to work on it tomorrow when we have Knit in Public Day, too. Okay. Because if I go home, I can get between tonight knitting and tomorrow knitting. Yeah, I could see myself having that... Um, and the one done. you're making doesn't really have sleeves, does it? Is it just a drop shoulder and it's done? Mm -hmm. There you go. You could do it. I think so. Although, you know what? My thought was to put some sleeves on it. Oh. Well, sometimes even just, you know, w picking up and going around and knitting three inches. What does that take? A couple hours. Right. And I usually, in that case, I usually do my sleeves first. But, and then I just... All I've left is body. Oh. Once I get past the underarms and my sleeves are off, if you will, uh -huh. then I, I'll, yeah. this, is, this is my plan. I do it this way all the time. I knit to the end of the ball of yarn. That's what I do. Yep. <laughs> and then I go back and yeah. I put uh, do my sleeves. Uh-huh. And then I go yeah. back to join the net yarn for the body. Mm-hmm. I do that sometimes. Okay. So, okay. I'm going home casting on a marmel. All right, she's got to get out of here now. Yeah, no kidding. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, I, well, yeah, because I don't, well, I do have um, the, 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 the top I just finished, the one that Laura Ayler, I tested it. Okay. Yeah, I do have that finished. Can that be seen at ZK? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it's out. It came out. Okay. Um, so I I have that, mm -hmm. and then I have the was it Alina that I knit last summer, out of the mm -hmm. rustic, rustic silk. silk, and then I need one more top. Yeah, you're right. I okay. need another shirt. Yeah. To take to ZK. So, right, and then with any luck, I'll get those sleeves done. Um, mm hmm. But the sleeves will go faster then because they're they're just zooming around and mm -hmm. on that weekender. Okay, blankets aside. Well, gotta knit a sweater. Oh, I'll still do that in the morning. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I do still do my sewing in the morning too. But yeah, I'll still. I want to get in the this morning. done. I'll okay, it'll be fun to see if you do that. Yeah. And short sleeves, that part will be really easy then. Well, and it makes sense to do that when short sleeves. Then it, I like that idea. Because yeah. that that's got a cotton in that yarn too, doesn't it? I don't think so. I think it was just 50-50 silk and, and wool. But how much of the 50 of the silk can be left after all these little things are all over the place? <laughs> You know, I mean, everybody grumbled about that. I still have mine at look home. Look at that close. You see all those little gray speckles? They all fall out all over. So, yeah. That might be the reason that yarn's discontinued. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Okay, folks. All right. We'll see you in two weeks or thereabouts. Yeah. Well, two weeks we'll be in ZK. Will we really? Two weeks from today we'll be there. Oh, shoot. I don't know if we'll, we could try to podcast. We don't know. We'll see. Don't expect anything. You get whatever it shows up. Well, we're going to have to podcast because we got to show everybody we got our sweaters done. Yeah. So we'll have to podcast we'll have at to some podcast. point in time. Yeah, even if it's just a quick check-in. Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. Here we are at ZK with our sweaters on. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Even if it's just that, we'll do it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're a pair, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, see you, everybody. Bye-bye.